Hey guys, what's going on? Dominic Ackley here. Today we're going to be talking about Teddy Bear Daycare. Um, basically what it is, is a daycare to help single parents or couples um, in financial trouble. Um, on average, the daycare in Michigan runs anywhere from 600 to 800 bucks a month. Um, and not too many people make that much money to be paying that. Um, our goal here at Teddy Bear Daycare um, is to provide safe, affordable, high quality child care. In doing so, we support families in their efforts to reach their goals. Um, the Teddy Bear Child Care Center provides a base program for children from six weeks to five years. We provide a home-like environment where children are encouraged to develop their own pace. Um, the Teddy Bear staff is committed to families we serve pro providing support and encouragement. And that's basically our goal um, and our mission statement of why we have chose this business um, and why we want to help people. Um, our staff is also um, more than trained and qualified to do this. Um, whether you are a child care administrator, director, supervisor, or student teachers, um, it's likely you'll have to go through this training sometime. So we provide all paid training to employees um, here at Teddy Bear Daycare. Um, and a lot of people ask, why us? Um, well, we're organized and we're well thought out um, because young children feel safe when their days are structured and predictable. So they know what's going on. You know, you have lunch and then change and then daycare, recess and so on. Um, secondly, we know your priorities. Um, since no daycare center is perfect, parents say it's a good idea to be realistic about what you can change, um, what you can live with. And, you know, these factors will be different for every family. So we try working with what you want. I mean, we have lower prices than most daycares. Now, a lot of people ask how I got my business started or how I will get that business out there. Um, well, first, most off the three, I guess you could say, social sites or way I would advertise my business would be one, Facebook. And here's why, let me tell you. Facebook is a thriving community that every business most strongly considers as they develop a marketing plan. With nearly 2 billion people using that site at some point and about 1 billion users who log in at least once per month, that is a massive population dynamic number that we cannot be ignored. So why use Facebook? What's the, what's the big purpose and what sets it apart from other social media sites um, or ways to advertise, people ask me. And what I say is it's very easy to reach out to your targeted age, sex, religion, no matter which industry your business happens to operate within. Um, once a page is set up, your business can basically reach any customer with a custom audience. As I stated, choose a specific um, location, targeting boost posts so they can see news feeds more frequently to generate more engagement. Um, Facebook has now also done reviews, um, kind of um, surveys now too. You can um, vote on things. Um, so that's one way we'll get out there. Um, secondly, one way to get a business out there is Twitter. Um, sort of like Facebook, but a lot for the younger generation. And here's why I would also choose Twitter as my second option um, to advertising. It's a game changer, guys. Um, with nearly 400 million potential people that can be reached with one single tweet, which is a post in Facebook world. Um, because of the length also, the reason we use Twitter to reach younger parents and the younger generation um, is because the length is limited. You get like 140 something characters or letters, words um, to post. So it doesn't take much effort for us to provide a specific message to your followers or my followers. Um, you might invest a lot of time and effort into the content of your site, but it really only takes a couple of minutes to craft a tweet at most. Um, saving time, energy, and money, and most of these are all free websites you can join. Also, 24% of interest users um, use Twitter. Um, so it's a massive number to get away out there, to explore your business, um, get your name out there and your brand. Um, lastly, one advertising I would not skip over is traditional advertising. So that goes anything from newspaper to billboards to little cutouts and gas stations. And here's why, when spreading your brand, it's important to not overlook some of the more tried and true methods. Um, putting ads in a newspaper may seem old fashioned for some people, but newspapers still have a wide circulation, like your county journal, 
Charlotte, Michigan has a county journal that goes out. Everyone in Eaton County gets that. Um, and it may take more financial sense um, to put an ad in a paper um, compared to a Facebook or Twitter account. Um, but you could also put up a billboard along a busy road, um, highway, intersection, or produce a short television commercial if you have the funds and money to do so. Um, while the way of the future may be through the internet and social media, as I stated, I would use Facebook and Twitter, that doesn't mean old methods aren't still effective. Um, so I basically gave you the background of my business, what I want to do, um, why I choose us, and I gave you three reasons of how I would spread my business through social media and advertising. Um, give us a like and follow on our pages, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.